welcome back to yet another episode of Syracuse Unpeeled, where I come at you every week with semi-relevant information that you probably don't need to know, but I still appreciate you listening to. I'm your host, Alex O'Toole, and joining me tonight, we have JP Chunga, Alyssa Candiotti, and Lena Pringle. So tonight we will be talking about everything from Pinot Noir to Taylor Swift throwbacks and I'll be sitting down with SU student Claire Greenbaum who is bringing awareness to and helping us fight cancer. So fans of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt can now binge drink Pinot by Titus while they binge watch the Netflix original series. The actor named Titus, who plays Titus on the show, is releasing his own brand of Pinot Noir. Apparently the wine is meant to be enjoyed by all the fabulous kings and queens. It costs $24.99 a bottle, and online orders will begin going out on March 14th. Lena, are you getting a bottle delivered? Um, okay. So I don't know if you've seen the website yet, but the website is hilarious. <laughs> um, it literally says, like, if you're 21 or older, click yes or no. But for $24.99, no, I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't even like red wine that much, so... 24, like if it was maybe 10.99, then, then maybe. Mm. You know, I don't even know. Hashtag college student, hashtag broke. So no. Right. 10.99, that's that classy stuff. There we go. All yeah. the time. Yeah. That's it. Eleven dollars up. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. it's a deal we breaker. Do it. Yeah. Look. Deal breaker. Exactly. You balling know, on a budget. We are, yeah. and you know, Titus is balling on a budget in the show. That's why I was a little bit surprised. Exactly. I was like, that's the whole thing. Like. You gotta Come help on. us out here, man. Help me help, help you. Help me help <laughs> you, Titus. Help me help you. <laughs> so speaking of amazing creations by Tina Fey and her husband, Jeff Richmond, the dynamic duo have just confirmed that a Mean Girls musical is in the works. Unlike Fetch, it is going to happen. Jeff revealed that the script is 60% written and one of the songs will be called Old Blonde Song, sung by not just a regular mom, but a cool mom, Mrs. George. There has been no word yet as to whether or not Amy Poehler will reprise her iconic role. Alyssa, if you could create a Mean Girls song, what would it be? I have two for you. And this oh, is off the top two. of my head, so wow. there are endless possibilities here, here. First one should be, we should all just totally stab Caesar. That has to be in it. That needs to be With a song. that tone, too. Like, yeah. that's how this whole yeah. song is going to be sung. Absolutely. Um, and the second one is, she doesn't even go here. He does. So. Ooh, good yeah. song. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll sing them too. Yeah. So. Could you like give us like a little sneak peek? Um, it's gonna go like this. <laughs> Are those the words? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait for the Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, oh, that was really good. good. I mean, that's yeah. already sung. I don't know if you've heard. But no, like, I know. They already sing. But that is going a to be remix. the musical. Yeah. yeah. Like just like it happening again. <laughs> yeah. Music. Yeah. And then you go Glen Coco. Come on. That would be a good one. <laughs> that could be a song. Yeah, that's Make a that song. Make that little jingle. Yeah. yeah. That could be a ringtone. And none for Gretchen <laughs> Wieners. None. And then the music Never. stops. Yeah. That's and when the music stops. Just stop. Curtain it's closed. It is. It's over. That's it's it. over. Sorry, Gretchen. <laughs> Still none for you. So this is a BuzzFeed throwback that Taylor Swift probably doesn't care for. A MySpace page allegedly belonging to the singer before she was famous has surfaced. The posts include mid-2000s hallmarks that we probably would all like to forget, like digital camera selfies, the word der, and asking your friends to post prom pictures. Some of her comments include beep sewing machines. And that picture of me at the top is gross. I want it off now, but I love you. JP, I know you're a big T-Swift fan. What do you think of Teen Taylor? Do you like sewing machines? Nobody likes sewing No, I machines. do. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Last thing you sew. No. stab my finger. Last thing you sew. I do it by hand, usually. Okay, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. No yeah. sewing machine. I just, you're a fraud, okay? Let's <laughs> just establish that. But first of all, Taylor just being real, like she always is. Like she is. always is. Like she always is. Straight up with her squad, yeah. repping. I'm sure back then the middle school squad that she had on MySpace was fantastic. Her top friends list, it had Selena Gomez, I'm sure. Um, not in, not in, <laughs> that would be in the real day. true. It had friendship. Abigail, though. Are you a it true did. fan? It, it had it, Abigail. It she was on there. Um, but her top friends, that's what I'm interested in. And if you checked everybody's MySpace, you'd come up with some interesting yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's Even mine. Fun. Yeah. Honestly. I didn't do mm -mm, MySpace. Why? Where I were didn't you? Do MySpace? I did not do MySpace. Oh, what wow. space were you in? Where were I you? I waited until Facebook mm. was approved and normal. So you're saying and I'm not normal. And then I went there. That's cool. exactly what I'm right. saying. You probably have some questions. Yeah. Selfies on there with <laughs> yeah. way too much eyeliner. Everybody does. I'm just saying. I wasn't about it. Sorry. Offended. So up next, we'll be talking about a case of sibling rivalry. Stay tuned, Unpeelers. Thank you. 
sun Wake the sun Wake the sun Wake the sun If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, what you wear, how you dance, or even what direction life takes you. You just need to be there. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. Welcome back, guys. So remember when your parents used to tell you to be nice to your siblings? They might actually know what they're talking about. Two brothers in Pennsylvania entered the Powerball lottery. One brother won the $291 million, and his brother won $7. So far, there is no news as to whether he will be sharing his winnings with his brother. Alyssa, I know you have siblings. If you won the lottery, what, what would you do? And your sibling right. won $7. What are we All doing right. here? Josh, if you're listening, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing it. I'm not. <laughs> but look, <Savage. laughs> in, in my defense, in my defense, come on, when, when you're overwhelmed with that excitement, you got the money in your hands, it's so exciting, I'd probably give him seven more dollars out of pity. And then eventually, <gasps> when I'm like, you know what, I have so much money, here we go, I'll just hand it off to him. There you go. But he works hard, so he does deserve it. You know, so maybe, think, you know, it'll take maybe some time. Maybe give him, like, the amount of money that he spent on the Powerball ticket that You're he right. didn't win. You You're know, right. like, maybe if he won, like, if he spent $10, yes. give him, like, $10. Plus seven more for just for the humans. Just for fun. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Are you guys sharing? He more? better get a good Christmas gift yeah, or something. I would share. Yeah. Yeah. share for the holidays. It would take give him some time. I will to. eventually give it to him, you know, out of the, 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 what is it? You gotta make him work. Compassion? <laughs> Family? The, the blood you parent. share? Just those little the little DNA. The blood that you the share. The DNA. Once he proves, you know, the DNA, all that, I'll say. <laughs> Maybe buy him a puppy. I, yeah, I that would make him happy. And that's cheap. A puppy? Yeah. That's cheap. <laughs> no, yeah, that's like, these are all good ideas, people. These Keep are them all coming. good Keep ideas. Them coming. So a New York woman was arrested after police found her driving around with a cardboard license plate. The 28-year-old was apparently driving with a suspended registration and without insurance. Throwing a bit of sass, the sheriff's, the sheriff's office posted a photo to, of the license plate on Facebook with the caption, in case you are wondering, homemade cardboard license plates are not legal. Lena, cardboard license plates, creative or just plain stupid? I mean, you gotta give it to her. She was being resourceful. You know, no, illegal, yes it was. Um, but I think it was kind of creative. I mean, you know, if, if her paint detail was good and her attention to detail, you know, if she could have made it last a little, I don't know how long she drove before she got pulled over. Now, would I do it? No, because I, you know, I have insurance and I have a license. Um, but you know, for the people that don't have licenses, maybe a cardboard License plate might work. We no, I'm not advocating uh, it though. We talk about balling on a budget. That's balling on a budget. Go. That's like a little bit of a budget. Yeah, well. But like now, how much does she have to pay? She yeah, probably too, too much. much. Too much to that's pay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, Hopefully, she like weatherproofed it too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's important. Yeah. One time it rains, your license You're plate just starts it's melting. Gone. And they're like, Arrested oh, for sure. no. Laminate. It's not even worth it at that these point. Are, you know? These are real problems. Yeah. These are real people problems. So it is official. Jimmy Kimmel is hosting the 68th Primetime Emmy Awards. This is his second time hosting the show, which will air on September 18th. The most recent hosts include Andy Samberg, Seth Meyers, and Neil Patrick Harris. Critics have noted that Kimmel was the safe and obvious choice for ABC. JP, will you be tuning in? Of course. Jimmy Kimmel is fantastic. He, he gets all the great guests. He's friends with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, even though he doesn't show that he's friends with Matt Damon. That's a little inside joke on his show, but still. He's good, he's good pals with all these guys, and he's going to be, have a fantastic time. And he's funny. He's, he's funny. He's yeah. my favorite Jimmy, just saying. That's Ooh. a hot take. Ooh. I don't know. agree with that. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, favorite uh, Jimmy. Uh, that's my favorite Jimmy. <laughs> you should have thrown that in now. It's a <laughs> tension over here. I don't like it. Tell me about it, Alyssa. Yeah. Tell me about the tension you're feeling. I'm, it's hot. Hot. It is hot. All right, so even though the tension is hot, will you be tuning yes, in? Yes, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. One Jimmy or the other, I will be tuning in, but the better Jimmy would have been a better host. Just <laughs> the better Jimmy would have been a better host. Lena, what about you? Um, yeah, I like them both equally. I, you know, I like Jimmy. That's a very um, nice yeah. political yeah. answer so for yeah, a political just, year. There we go, yeah. That's very I'll nice. We'll that. leave it on that nice note. Side. So up next, we get a little peek at what it takes to be a drag superstar. Stay tuned. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got 
got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. no. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom. That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back, Unpeeler. So our very own Lena Pringle had a little lesson in Drag 101 with last week's Drag Show Champion. Let's take a look. After the 15th annual Totally Fabulous Drag Show, I wondered exactly what it took to be a drag queen. I have with me the winner of that show, Courtney McGuire, to give me a full course on how to be a drag queen. So, what's first? The makeup. Okay, well, let's get to it. All righty. Off camera, I already applied foundation and I primed my eyelids, so I'm ready for the fun. So, we're gonna start with the eyeshadow. And I would go for a smoky eye. For drag makeup, you pretty much, what I find you do is you try and just accentuate all the natural features of like a very feminine face. <laughs> Goodness! Yes! And then I'll put this on after my hair is all pinned it back with headbands and stuff. I'll put this on and then I'll also pin this in. Mm -hmm. But for today, we're just gonna slide it on. Okay. So people put little horns on the side of your head. Horns. Yeah. Okay, horns. And then grab onto this. And then grab. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Uh oh, I got some hair on my mouth. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try. So just a strut attitude and then go. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. Oh, nice. <laughs> hair flip. <laughs> How was that? How was that? Was it okay? Okay, you know, I tried. I tried. All right. So you taught me the makeup, the hair, the outfits, the walk, and then you told me the last thing that you have to do is what? Um, once you have all of that, you just have to go out and perform. Well, thank you, Courtney McGuire, for taking me through all the ways and steps to becoming a drag queen. I'm Lena Pringle, a.k.a. Caramel for Syracuse Unpeeled. <laughs> Amazing. I am extremely jealous that I didn't get to do that. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was probably the makeup because I had no idea how to do a smoky eye to that degree and I kept re-watching the video to learn, um, but that was the best part. That's what I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking I have to like go over there and get lessons yeah, to do no, this. Yeah, no, and you have very, very nice makeup, so I was just like, yes. I know, me. that's what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. You just gotta use, okay, so if you have to go do the performance part because that's mm -hmm. the last aspect, what is your performance, Caramel? What is it? Oh, I think it would be very sassy, probably something with Rihanna, mm -hmm. work, 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 so I can, you know, Just like a little? Yes. 
this. And I just can like show it off. Yes. yes. And that can like flip the do hair. The, because you clearly already proved mm -hmm. you can do that. I think that would be the perfect That's it. Get ready, guys, because maybe we'll bring it to another episode. Yep. Who knows? So stick around, guys, because up next, I will be sitting down with Claire Greenbaum, who is making the fight against cancer something we can all get excited about. Stick around, Unpeelers. Looks like it's done. Don't let salmonella get funky with your chicken. On average, one in six Americans will get a foodborne illness this year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So learn the right temperature to cook each type of meat. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. With a commanding eight goal lead. The weekend, usually, is a time to relax and unwind from the pressures of work and school. Unfortunately, the weekend is also a time for many people to abuse drugs and alcohol. Listen to the words some people use when they talk about the good time they had over the weekend. They say, I went to a party Friday night and got plastered. Or, Saturday night, I was really wasted. Maybe they didn't have such a good time after all. This message furnished by the NCAA. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Welcome back. I am joined now by SU student and project manager of the organization F Cancer, and I'll let you guess what comes after the F, Claire Greenbaum. So Claire, thanks so much for joining me tonight. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the organization and kind of how it got started. Okay, well, unfortunately when I was 10 years old, um, I lost my, well, my mother got diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And um, she was in and out of remission for four years, but unfortunately, um, when I was 14, she passed away. And um, uh, I sat down with my family after she passed away, and we knew we wanted to do something to raise money and give back to the cancer community. So I'm from Montreal, so we decided that we were going to throw an event to raise money. And the first event we threw was in Montreal, where like 300 uh, people from the community came out, and everyone to gain entrance into the venue wore shirts that said, F cancer on them um, and my mom loved to party and like she loved to have a good time so we wanted to do something fun so that's amazing I yeah. love that you guys kind of take something that's like it's such a hard topic and it touches so many people but you made it into this positive thing yeah that like people kind of come out and like in a way party about so what are the events themselves like like when you go to an event what can you es expect to see well it's kind of nice because um, we wanted to engage the younger generation because we feel as though that like a lot of philanthropy events kind of like target like older audiences. So we're like, okay, like people our age are gonna go have fun and go out anyway, so we might as well be able to give back and like, I don't know, everyone's been affected by cancer. So it's nice at the event because everyone's just together having a good time, but there's also like so many like shared stories and like everyone's like there for the same cause, so. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's awesome. And I know that I was telling you before that my mom was diagnosed when I came into my freshman year, so I showed you before that I already follow the thing on Instagram. You do. Like I already you do. knew about it, so <laughs> I was so excited when I found out that you came here, and then you actually had an event this year, and I know you want to do it again next year. So how did you? I guess like you just knew that you wanted to bring what you already did to campus, but how did you even go about doing that? Because I feel like it's such a big yeah. project to kind of tackle. Well, when coming to Syracuse, I knew I would love to bring fuck can F cancer here. <laughs> Um, so last year it wasn't really feasible for me, like I was a freshman, I didn't really have the right resources and everything, but um, now I'm a sophomore and I'm like in a sorority house, so that was really helpful for me. Um, and like I'm just like really passionate about Syracuse and like I love school so much and like I'm so passionate about F cancer, so 
I don't know, it was just, I spoke to my sister about it and she thought it was a great idea and we worked together and I got my friends here to help out and it seemed to be a good time. I had a good time. So. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So is the money raised mostly through donations or more through like the events that you guys hold and how, like where exactly does the money go? Okay, so um, our organization had like, it, we're non-for-profit non now, so all the money raised goes to our organization, and it's really through tickets. So okay. to gain entrance into the venue, you need to buy a shirt, and the amounts that you pay for the shirt like all goes to charity. Um, but it was nice because so many people who weren't even able to make it to the event at Syracuse like messaged me, I'd love to get involved, or like I'd love to donate, so you can donate through our website as well. That's awesome. Yeah. And I think it's such like a great cause to get involved in, and I mean, it's something that touches so many people, so. Yeah. Thank you for bringing this here, and I'm Thank so excited you. that I got to meet you. So <laughs> Me up next, we're going to be playing Pictionary, so stick around. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Thank you, dear. Well, you're very supple. Just like I was at your age. Back then, I was a sex expert. Used to call me the buttered biscuit. I know about birth control, too. So you can ask me anything, baby. Bedsider.org has birth control information and a lot more. And it's... Have you had sex in this car yet? Welcome back. So tonight's game is Pictionary. How it works is that each team will be given a word, and we have to draw it out. So the first team to guess the word wins. So basically, you know, we're going to keep scoring. We're going to win, and oh, that's okay. just it. That's an exaggeration. So <laughs> I'll let the losers go first. OK. <laughs> you guys we'll want to? All right, so here, I'll just, which one of you guys is going to draw first? What do you want to do? You can draw. All right, okay. you're, you're ladies first. So don't look at, don't don't look look. at the word. OK, all right. All right. OK, now so I draw away. Okay. Here we go. OK, let's see. Got an amoeba. <laughs> we got a gingerbread man. Who looks like something. One word. Is it no, no onesie. words. No onesie. letter. What is onesie? this? Onesie? What is this? Onesie? Is that illegal? Onesie? Yeah, that's illegal. That's fine. That's fine. That is not illegal. You roll a one, one and a Z. <laughs> no more of that. Okay. okay. I'm gonna count this Have a point. Have a point. point. Oh, no point. Oh, she says no point. point. That's no, the judge. No I'm point? The rules. There's no point. Okay. Um, wow. Do you want to draw first? Or do you want me to draw? After you. Yes. Okay. You're drawing again. Um, it's all right. Okay. I'm glad you didn't Gloves? draw that. <laughs> Mittens? <laughs> Smiley face? Snowman? A teddy bear? A, a glove? Oh God! <laughs> what even is it? <laughs> um, uh, a dog. <laughs> Someone crying. A ghost. Oh God! I guess I'm bad a at stamp. this. It's a stamp. A stamp. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nope. Is my time up? I feel like it probably is. Yeah, I'm gonna buzz him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buzz myself. It was a puppet. Like it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, on his hand, but I made that. a stage. Right. I made a crowd. Oh, okay. I tried. I tried. I tried. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm, I'm a good guesser. I'll Maybe not a good job, but I will. I will guess correctly. You just look. Okay. We can't guess anyway. Face, smile, happy, legs, man, man, squiggly man, um, pants, big pants, flowy <laughs> pants, gauchos. Um, <laughs> what uh, uh, is this? Um, dark pants, colorful, flo um, coloring pants, pink <laughs> pants. Split, doing a split, dancing. Mm -hmm. um, not. Not another. Somebody, somebody not beep him. Somebody buzz him. Not. Out of time. Out of not you can't write not. You can't write not. No Leggings. more words from you. What is that? No words are Skinny. allowed. Skinny jeans. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. I'll okay. hand this okay. to you okay. just so I'm not peeking. Not fat jeans. You're right. You <laughs> take that. Okay. I will erase this, and you look and draw. Okay. Okay. Go. Go for it. Um. <clears throat> mustache. It's like the Pringle guy. Uh, <laughs> French man with two pieces of bread crossing and a cake. <laughs> or maybe a submarine. <laughs> maybe. Um, maybe he's sad <laughs> about it. Um, <laughs> wait, okay. Um, and some water. A fisherman? A, f a boat uh, under a submarine? Out of time. And a fi <laughs> it was a pirate. Uh, <laughs> give an eye patch. Eye patch. I, I would have got, 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 got one for you. No, right. no pirates in Canada, I guess. <laughs> I okay. guess not. Oh, here. Okay. I feel like our time ran out much faster than their here time does. All right. Oh! Wait, that's not possible. We already did that. Here we go. <laughs> Speed round. Speed round. Speed round. Better hurry. That's bull. <laughs> a box. A uh, square? <laughs> Two squares? <laughs> Three squares? Ten. An oven? Five. Four. <laughs> Literally Three. so close a to a square. Two. A box. Oh, a rectangle. rectangle. <laughs> oh my mm. god. Right. What? I, Did uh, you right. go to kindergarten? 15 seconds. I'm bad at geometry. Uh. <laughs> okay. okay, I win. What's this? <laughs> What's that? A smiley face. I win. Um, so thanks for coming to watch this week, guys. Um, have a great spring break. Be safe. Make good choices. And I will see you all when you get back. Or you'll see me. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>